Yo, what is going on guys? We're back today for another video and the current battlegrounds meta electric defense hit me I dare you is crazy so restrictive and It's funny because one of the absolute best defenders in this meta is the champion We're gonna be ranked four today, but I had already decided this you know before like I it was like a little bit of the reason because like I made a decision, decision a little while ago, and like I knew he had armor, so I'm like, okay, yeah, he's probably also going to be good as a good defender for this upcoming meta. But I didn't think he was going to be nearly as good as he is. But and that's Nimrod. Like I, and that that's only partially why I'm ranking him because of his defensive purposes. But but I think Nimrod is an incredible attacker. He's so good, and I've just been wowed by this character. Honestly, he's really really grown on me. And uh, I, I'm taking him up, so it's gonna gonna go ahead and give him all of my six stones as well. My tech six stones. I was saving those for uh, Infamous Iron Man, but screw that, screw Prestige, man, whatever. <laughs> um, I care about battlegrounds. So there we go, Sig 65 on that Nimrod, and uh, now let's take him up to rank four because yeah, he's a beast. And the thing I like about Nimrod is he's also pretty solid on defense, just regardless of the meta, you know. If they don't have, like, I've I've been caught off guard by Nimrod. Like, I had good, a good draft. I had good champions. They just didn't really work against Nimrod. And so I ended up losing. And I've been trapped like that. And that's just what Nimrod's capable of. He can just force unideal counters. And they just go very slow sometimes. And in this current meta, <laughs> he's just absolutely ridiculous. And he kind of struggles to even fight dominoes in this meta. Like, he has to use a, an uber-specific playstyle to fight Domino in this meta. He can't just, you know, 5-hit combo, special 2, dead. He can't just do that. It's really interesting, actually. This meta is crazy. Um, it's very, very unique. The But also a little restrictive. But I... It, it's pretty interesting, especially to, to watch and to stream, I find. And, and to play, especially. So, that's good, I guess. There we go, Nimrod at rank 4. Um, yeah, I've just been sitting on this rank 4 for a little while. Been really giving it a lot of thought. And the, one of the main reasons why I I kind of narrowed my rank 4 down to the tech class. It was mainly between Stark Spidey, Nimrod, and Penny Parker. It's going to be one of those three, I knew for sure. And I just had to figure out which one. But ultimately, I just decided to go with Nimrod because I, I really like him. And... I've played Stark Spidey so much. I do eventually want to take Stark Spidey up, but I just I think Nimrod's gonna be a little bit better right now, meta wise, and it's just fun to play with a new character. Uh, I rarely played with him, mainly just like every now and again in War. There's a Sauron, and okay, I just bring Nimrod, and he just nukes it, and I just like oh, it's so much fun. Like I want to play him a lot more. So now that he's at rank four, because as you can see now, I only have three tech rank fours. Before that, I had two, and to compare. For contrast, here's my other classes. Mystic, we're at three. Mutant, we're at three. I was trying to get all my classes to at least three. Um, so, you know, this is this is great, right? But that's when it gets just out of control here. Cosmic, we have five rank fours now. Skill, we have four. And Science, we also have four. So, yeah. Tech just needed to catch up a little bit. And there's no better tech champ to catch up with than Nimrod. No better meta-relevant tech champ anyways. He's about as 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 relevant as it gets these days. He is just Nimrod's just so incredible. So yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, gonna go get some gameplay with him, and uh, yeah, I will be back. Yo, what is going on, guys? We're back now for some gameplay. So I figured, what's the what's the, where where do I want to take this Nimrod? You know, I want I want to I want to hunt and slay some mutants. That's definitely what I want to do. Because uh, I got the best mutant killer in the game now at the highest, not the highest level, the uh, one of the highest levels, uh, the highest level of, uh, available to me at least, which is rank four six stars. So we're going to be jumping into act six uh, point two point five, one of the funnest <laughs> quests. I say that sarcastically because this has the do not go gentle mode, which you can see those little pink charges under my uh, my health bar. Yeah, you have to intercept or use a heavy attack to get rid of those. And if you try to kill a defender with them still on you, uh, you're going to lose all your health and die. So, yeah, it's it's fun. But uh, this this took me, this Havoc, took me like 
like three or four, this is like my third or fourth try trying to just just get through the first fight on this path i was i was not having a, a good time with it i was struggling i was struggling but then i got this run finally kicked it into gear and i uh, got things going nimrod is not the best havoc counter out there um he can still do it as you can clearly see but just havoc has a lot of energy resistance i believe uh which really negates a lot of the damage and you can see here my health is just getting melted because of the do not go gentle so right there just gonna hit him with a heavy attack clear some charges and he drops we gotta get out of there alive finally took down that half like i said like three or four tries and that was just the first fight but now that i got through the first fight like you know i should i should be good um so next up here we have an archangel and this was also not on the content creator uh, beta or anything so this is i, I didn't really want to i don't have just infinite resources so they, like i do on the the beta where i could just you know i'll just throw a couple ten thousand potions after this fight oh yeah no big deal but here like no i need to save those resources because you know uh grandmaster's gauntlet eternity of pain <laughs> acceptance is coming tomorrow so i'm probably going to use some revives and potions there so i'm trying to conserve my stash for for those you know modes of content not just for videos um i mean and th and there was nothing stopping me from going on the ccb beta either i should say but Sometimes it's just nice to be on the main server. Uh, like, if I can do it on the main server, I will, you know? Like, if, I'm, if I need to go halfway into Abyss, okay, then yeah, I'll, I'll jump on the CCP beta, you know? Uh, but this fight was was interesting, because this is an Archangel, and this has, um... I forget the name of the node now, but I, it's just... Per, no, I think it's Perforate. Uh, just all special attacks are unblockable, I believe, here. Uh, which can be kind of tricky against Archangel with a special one, so I was trying to push him to special twos. And <laughs> I just... I just take two special twos to the face <laughs> it, it like tickles because we got uh, the cowardice on him and nimrod is obviously bleed and poison immune so like there's nothing archangel can do to nimrod like no matter how bad you mess up it is one of the safest matchups like in all of mcoc like that is you're secure if you bring archangel or if you bring nimrod against an archangel you know Next up here we have a Mr. Sinister, and I've been having a really good time just getting to know Nimrod better because he did so many things that like I didn't realize he did a long time ago, just like with his modes, the utility he has in them. So in the orange mode here, um, he can nullify regeneration and prowess effects and replace them with shocks. So I was wondering if that was going to work against Mr. Sinister's regeneration here, and I don't think it was. I, I didn't see any shocks working here. Uh, his regen does work a little bit differently anyway, so I wasn't surprised. I was just kind of curious if it would work here. Um, and and he, <laughs> this scumbag, Mr. Sinister, it's a fun fact, he can actually un he can, he can block unblockable specials. So Mr. Sinister can just block my unblockable special right there. Uh, and I, I know that. I know that. I've known that for a very long time. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, just silly. <laughs> All good, though um and yeah so with, with nimrod if if you guys i'm sure most of you know but just in case those debuffs are being applied when uh, mr sinister throws a special attack depending on the corresponding corresponding mode that i am in and if i'm in both modes like i am right now um then he gets both debuffs when he throws a special uh but he's dead so yeah well he's dead so that's good uh next up here we have an omega red Again, this is great fight for Nimrod. You know, just you just want to bring up robots against uh, Omega. There's nothing, really, nothing going on in this fight. Um, so not too worried. Just gonna go ahead and build that special too. We also are rocking some synergies here with Nimrod. So uh, we build up uh, for every. I think it's every mutant that we defeat uh, going forward. We just start with an armor up buff, which is pretty nice. Uh, you know, it doesn't really. That, that would be a lot nicer when you're not fighting mutants because that's when it's a little bit harder to uh to gain armors and gaining armor is a really great way to just get some 10 charges you know and then throw your special two that's what you ideally want to do with nimrod to get the 10 boom drop it drop it like it's hot and uh yeah it, it does just a poop load of damage right there the do not go gentle tried to kill me good thing uh heimdall was watching my back that would have been bad but this fight, you guys are really going to see that uh, utility that Nimrod houses in the orange mode. Uh, we're going to just be getting rid of all of this guy's regen and just turning them into shock. So I think I'm going to go for a combo ending with a light attack that changes our mode. And boom, now you can see every single hit we're applying those shock debuffs. 
um, and getting rid of the regens. But as soon as we go back to the blue mode, we stop doing that. So we have to go back to the orange mode. Here, I got a little heavy as well. That's that's not what you want to, to see happening. But that's fine. We're just building to this special two, and we're about to let it drop. I just want to get rid of some of those do not go gentle charges before I drop it so that, you know, I don't die. I mean, I do have Heimdall to rely on, but yeah, I'd rather not die. And then I accidentally go for special three. I mean, I, that might not have been an accident. Uh, Nimrod special three does uh, give a regen. Uh, based off, I believe it's myth missing health. So being at eight percent, we are gonna get a really pretty nice regen. Maybe that was my plan. Uh, this was recorded a little while ago. Uh, but yeah, we're healing for two hundred fifty per tick, which is pretty nice. Um, not crazy, not as good as absorbing man's regen, um, but it's not bad. It's not bad, and it's yeah, it's not great. It's it's honestly, it's really not great. It could be better. Uh, I would like if it worked a little differently, if it wasn't just for missing health, if it was maybe based on armors or something, I don't know. I feel like there'd be a, there's a way to make that regen a little bit better, but it's all good. Next up here we have a Domino, which is obviously one of Nimrod's absolute best matchups, and just one of, if not... It, yeah, I, I think Nimrod is the best counter to Domino. Uh, I think Nimrod's number one. And I think Omega Sentinel's probably number two. Um, yeah, but uh, I'd I much prefer Nimrod, and it it's it also depends like on the nodes and everything. Um, for example, in the current Battlegrounds meta, Nimrod is definitely better <laughs> for Domino uh, than Omega Sentinel because uh, we basically have to use heavy attacks to build up your power. Uh, in that meta and omega sentinel has a two hit heavy attack whereas nimrod has a one hit heavy attack so he's able to just race that special two whereas she, with her i like to kind of build a special three to get a lot of the, the debuffs the instant debuffs going the nimrod's definitely a lot faster and and I, I just yeah nimrod is so simple against uh against i mean against anyone that, that, that's what i really love about nimrod is his simplistic nature and it's it's so simple yet effective <laughs> we just drop that special two Bye bye, Domino. Get melted. Like, I just, I love Nimrod. Like, uh, man, it, it it actually it blows my mind even more when I think about um, the month that Nimrod came out in. I, I think that is the best month of champs ever because we have Nimrod and Kitty, two, two just champions at the top of their class. Maybe, may, maybe not the best of their class, depending on who you ask, um, but absolute top of their class, both of them. So here, this is a, a really unique synergy you guys are going to see. I think, is it with Omega Sentinel, I want to say? Uh, yeah, I think it is with Omega Sentinel. So that's anytime someone is uh, shock immune, Nimrod will replace the shocks with incinerates. So here, she's shock immune, so we're applying incinerate debuffs. That is an extremely wonderful synergy that Nimrod has with Omega Sentinel. Both of them slay mutants, and if you have them both on the same team, man, they give synergies that helps them slay mutants even more. And, and I think it, it works in the reverse way for Omega Sentinel. If someone's immune to her incinerate, I think she applies shock? Is it? Or no, no, no. I think it's every time the opponent misses, they just get passively shocked. I think that's Nimrod's synergy. Um, but I, I kept messing up in this fight because I kept getting hit. And it is the node where you need to get to a 15 hit combo, prove yourself, uh, just to even deal any kind of damage. It's, it's being a little bit silly goofy. Um, but yeah, as soon as we get back to 15, we can then do damage. And I do need to be a little bit careful of my do not go gentle charges. There, I went for a little heavy attack, but uh, clearly we were out of range. Now I'm also degenning. Uh, that was a. I think. That was that intercept that I just hit. That's uh, that's one of the hardest intercepts in the game to perform. Uh, a second medium intercept. So it's not your first medium; it's your second medium, your combo ender to intercept with that. It I I whenever I do it, it it's very rare. Um, those are hard to hit, but when you hit them, they feel very satisfying. Uh, and then so next up here we have a little cable. I wasn't paying attention to the nodes. Um, but as you can see, we we did have 
I think we were supposed to get five armors at the start, but they just got nullified. Uh, but that's that synergy of just beating mutants and it persisting on with the armors, which is cool. It looks like he's regenerating a ton. Oh, yeah, this had Bane. Uh, so we got we to gotta get those good Bane transfers, as my buddy Brian Grant would say. Oh my god, that's a fat special too. It's so much fun just watching their health melt away <laughs> with that with that special too. With those passive drops. It is so entertaining. And uh, my, my Nimrod is actually also only SIG level... I think like 77 at the time of recording this and i recently pulled him so i think he's like 97 now um but yeah nimrod gets even does even more damage on that special two the higher the sig so i am looking to get my nimrod to sig 200 it's definitely you know not needed as you guys can see he is you know he still evaporates mutants i uh, at sig 20 undo because he i mean he'd still be fine but the extra damage is nice i mean why would you say no extra damage there's no reason to say no to extra damage you know so boom we we slayed we hunted every single mutant on that path took them all down successfully and then then i was like hey let's go try to fight mordo you know it's probably not gonna work but let's try because nimrod actually has pretty solid uh power control depending on the matchup it, it's it's very unique power control which is what i like about it and actually what i don't like about it, it it's, it's a little too unique i think so for sometimes but then when the, the niche is there it works really well so just how it works is when the opponent throws a spe that's spe their special of course again depending on the corresponding mode we're in you're either going to get a coward cowardice debuff or a power drain debuff blue mode cowardice orange mode power drain and then if we're in both modes both debuffs uh, but we, we just want to focus on the the power drain debuffs. I want, right now we have none of those, and we have three cowardice. I'm like, dude, that's 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 not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to stack the power drains. I want as many of those power drains as possible. And here I blundered. Mordo can also block unblockable attacks. That wasn't even unblockable anyways. But um, yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing there. Throwing that shouldn't shouldn't have thrown that. Was silly, silly, goofy. And I'm also supposed to be alternating uh, the special attack that I throw here because of uh, one of the nodes. I think it's Hurt Locker. Yeah, and I also have special delivery, so I have to throw a special every certain combo hits as well, which is a very, very fun node. So here blocks another one of my specials. I probably was not going, uh, not going great at the start, but we're still in it. We're still in it. And he, worst case scenario, you know, worst case scenario, he gets to the special three. He hits us with it. Well, Nimrod, <laughs> with that, with cowardice and with his armor up buffs, the dude can just straight up tank special threes like it's nothing. He is so tanky. It, it, it it's ridiculous. Um, and Mordo actually also has pretty weak special threes. So I was thinking, like, even if I, even you know, worst case scenario, he hits me with the L three. He's probably not going to do that much damage. You know, I'll probably, I'll definitely survive it. I'm sure I'll survive it. I should have tested it. Uh, but I was pretty sure I'd survive it, so I wasn't I wasn't worried. But there wasn't a need. Uh, Nimrod did a very good job of keeping that power under control, just with the, those power drain debuffs. Those power drain debuffs are very very powerful because they're really good at preventing special threes. Because even if there's like crazy power gain, like the it'll just start like seizuring out, going uh, to orange red, orange red, orange red, orange red, because they keep going to full living power drain, going full power drain. Um, but as long, and that's only if there's really, really crazy power gain. If there's not really crazy power gain, like, as soon as they get three bars, the power drain is just going to keep them below it. And it's so nice. So, yeah, that, that, the way his power drain works is growing on me. And then here, watch this, man. I get stunned. I'm, I'm done here. The, the fight's over. That stun lasted forever. So, that was basically, you know, Mordo Solo. 1%. This is as close as we're going to get, you know. It, it was a good fight. He did, he did a great job keeping that fight under control. And then the next fight I want to show you guys is some battlegrounds. So I kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, comparing them to Mike Sentinel. Uh, really, I, I literally fought a Domino today with the Mike Sentinel. It was not fun. Didn't like it. But with Nimrod in this meta, day one of this meta, I was placing my Dominoes and Nimrods were dying to her. Because I assume those guys were just going for the standard, you know, five hit combo with Nimrod. But in this meta, all you want to do is parry heavy. Parry heavy, parry heavy, parry heavy. That is going to let Nimrod still destroy Dominoes in this meta. And that's what I'm going for here. 
Um, you can... Honestly, a special one might be the play. A special one might be the play. I don't know. I don't go for one here, and it ends up working out pretty well. But I've had some other ones where I went for one special two, and I just... Did, there was still so much health that it really prolonged the fight. Um, but yeah, here I just go for the special two. It doesn't kill, I don't think, but it gets pretty close. And then one more heavy right here. This kills. Or no. This one? No. I guess this one. No. <laughs> okay. So, I like, yeah. That fight could have even went a bit faster. Uh, if, if we got some crits on those heavies, I feel like probably would have died a bit faster. But still, that's pretty solid. Uh, 53,000 points, 49 seconds against a Domino in this meta. <laughs> solid. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we've gotten a lot of fun gameplay about so far uh what we're gonna shift to now is some more mutants um but some some of the biggest mutants in the game uh and that is gonna be in grandmaster's gauntlet so i recently did a stream took nimrod to rank four and i brought him for that quest and i uh, he was like a hidden mvp he did so good in the gauntlet guys if you're running grandmaster's gauntlet i highly suggest you bring nimrod as one of your five slots uh i'm about to show you guys some of the mutants he just crushes in there and i was almost roadblocked by a sasquatch because of his just absurd region um and nimrod really saved the day so you guys are gonna see that too so guys that's gonna do it from for me for the rest of this video just got some uh some like i'm scotland hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video some really sick fights against those big sex mutants peace all right oh we got a night crawler um i think we'll go nimrod here let's just try to get him to change his mode yeah do that. Okay. Oh, brother. Bro, bro, back up. Thank you. Whole block. Thank you. Alright, we're good now. Thanks, Nightcrawler. You're a G. This fight's over now. <laughs> as long as I don't mess it up. I shouldn't have said that actually. That might mess it up. Nice, we got the power drain on him. That's perfect. Carry once. Right. In two of some special twos. Let's go, let's go. And this is how we do it. Come on, throw a little special one. Energy vulnerability up on him for our next special two. Do some more damage. Oh yeah, it's pretty noticeable. Come on, buddy. Thank you. All right, one more special two. Should be the trick that energy energize really nice too, man. I think honestly, I think the special one on Nimrod, kind of the way to go. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I really like it. It's very useful. Right, and that should be lights out for Nightcrawler. I think so. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Let's go, man. Oh, the Nightcrawler took that command secretly patched? Yeah, man. I never really used it anyways. I always prefer just hitting his block. Alright. Chunky, Chunky Domino. Limber, Force of Will, Debilitate, Matador. Power Shield. Let's run it. This this might actually be a really 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 good fight for Nim God. Easy too. Let's see. I think it should go pretty good. Just gotta bait like four special ones. Right. Just bait one. Perfect. Just bait another one. Oh, it's kind of annoying that actually we got the, the power drain. I don't want that right now. Need the Vader specials. Come on, throw it now. Perfect. Get the cow this time. Excellent, excellent. Let's drop this. Wow, 13,000 per tick. Pretty gnarly. Ooh, looks like 
we're not gonna quite mm, yeah i don't think one more special two would be enough so let's go for special one first and bait this come on bait it quick come on nice got the cowardice perfect we got a race to another special two let energy resist is still active throw it come on come on i don't think we're gonna get it off though Oh, maybe we will? Oh, yeah, not really. Damn it. <laughs> did the special one even do 10%? I don't think it did. So we're probably going to have to bait another two special ones here. There's one. But now she's power draining again. Damn it. Let's try to bait this. Come on. Ah. Keep triggering her lefty. Ah, there we go. And that is G to the G, Domino. Nim God, bro. Taking out one of the biggest dominoes in the game. No problem. I'm so happy to have this dude at rank 4, man. Let's go. It's gonna be a lot harder than it needs to be. But, uh, rank 4 Nim God. Whatever. Oh, I rem I'm removing those. Oh, you like that? You like that? You like that? That's what I thought. Stupid APOC. You ain't blocking this, boy. You ain't blocking that. Throw a special. How dare you. Yeah, you like getting power locked? Howard? We need to parry one hit and then back up because he's trying to stun us. Scumbag, you ain't stunning me again. No, no, no. Another special two. Let's take this. Power lock four. Let's go. It's tickling, that tickles in my block. Man, he's so much bigger than us. Cause he's got all four charges though. What? That was the first hit. He just, his first hit was the light. Oh my god, you scumbag. He got me with it. At least he hit so weak, it doesn't matter. We're just so tanky. I could probably eat that and I still wouldn't take damage damage. I'm not gonna test it though. Not test it. I'm parry. Oh. Alright, one more. Pop it. Get him, Nim God. Finish this. Ooh. It's not enough to finish. 10% off. Pretty close. Dude, first hit again, you scumbag. Oh, I thought I thought he had to go like medium light to do it, but no, I guess not. This doesn't matter. He just has to get that one light off. Oh, whatever, you're dead. You're dead, bro. Go. It didn't matter. It did not matter. That he had five four charges. It's freaking sassy, man. All right, I need to. So annoying. Really, really frustrating. I should have brought someone else. I, I shouldn't have brought Apocalypse, man. I wish I brought Archangel or something. Because <sighs> he's bugged. He wasn't worth bringing. All right, push him back. Let's wait. We switch. Let's only hit him in the orange mode. That's what we have to do. Throw it, you jerk! Jerk face! Throw it, jerk face! Thank you. Oh my god, man. I'm screwed. I just have to chill. God. 
so annoying, Sassy. Back off, man. Screw you, get out of my face. Trigger grass. Means he's gonna go for all these intercepts. Hey, he's stunning me now. God damn. Stop this. That would have killed. I should have knocked him down first. Are you kidding me? Okay, alright, that's good. At least I know now that I can kill him. At least I know now that I can actually kill him. Okay, that's good to know. Because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be able to or not. I need more knockdowns. There we go. There we go. Okay. More knockdown. Okay, throw this. Come on. No! 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 Damn it! God damn it! There we go, yes. Farm some knockdowns here. Alright, there we go. Yes, thank you. Jesus. Kabam Jesus. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank god we're through that. Cool.